All right, the door's in and it's gonna close. Okay, the reason it didn't close all the way is because we have the door sweep and these are automatic hinges. So when I activate the automatic hinges, there's gonna be forced to push it in and it's gonna fall like that, done. And it's perfect. As you can see, the bottom has the automatic sweep. It's all black. That means since we're in New York, no rats or mice will be able to come in. The stuff we have to deal with in New York, I tell you. So there you go, the door's in. And it lined up well. The one in the basement, there's a bit of problems. I'll save that for another video when I'm doing the work on that door because we are going to be doing stuff on that door. But this one lined up perfectly. Everything is in. It does push forward a little bit because of the door sweep, which I showed you that when the video started or when I started speaking. Um, but yeah, everything's working well. Everything's going smooth and sweet. Also on these hinges here, I put some tape so the painter could just paint with no problems and you don't have to worry about painting the hinges. Maybe this part right here. But if your painter can't avoid painting this little solid thing here, there's a problem with your painter, but I think that's good. So we're looking sweet. All we need to do now is wait for the painter to show up and paint this door and a couple of other things in this apartment, like this wall here, because it's a little bit damaged from when I was paint when I was painting the door myself. So yeah, so I'm not gonna be recording the painter paint. So the next scene will be me installing the hardware and getting this door wrapped up. Alright, now that I installed those two things, the, the Pico and the strike plate, let me show you guys what I'm going to be doing as the video goes on. I'm going to be putting the mortise lock in. I have to make the holes and drill, in it, drill it in permanently. Then I'm going to put the cylinder, then the turn knob to open and close the dead bolt. Then I'm going to be putting in the... I forgot what this is called. Well, I'm going to be putting this in, which is what turns the knob. Then the two rosettes. Sorry, not the rosettes. I'm going to be putting the two brackets with, that holds the bushing and holds the rosettes. And then the doorknob itself. And I wish you guys could feel the weight of this. This is like about one pound, a pound and a half. And then finally, finish off with the finished plate. It's pretty simple. So... As I go through the video, you guys are gonna see that it's not too difficult. I hope that's not my final words. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this going.
Oh no. All right, so it's looking like this stem right here is too long. Cause when I slide this in, it doesn't sit flush. So what I'm going to do is grab a grinder, cut that, and then put it in permanently. The door came out perfect. First, the peephole, very basic. You know, that's how you look through it. You move that over and then you use these grooves so that you could tighten it. The inside itself won't move or loosen over time. And then over here, we have the doorknob. Right now it's open. That's locked. The good thing is that when it's locked, this does not move the tongue stays right in its place so it's kind of like double the safety you have the deadbolt and the latch itself that's holding its spot also we have this looking good we have this button here for those that don't know if you press this button here this side locks so when the door closes and i'll show you when the door closes it's automatically locked i personally don't like that you will need the key to come in always. I personally don't like that because I go to the basement to work a lot and I don't want to be having to take out my key to come up and down. So yeah, I keep it like that. This lock came out perfect. I really truly love that. I had a problem on this side where I had to cut the spindle and then also you guys saw I took off the white bushing because this hardware in particular needs to go inside of that ring piece that that piece that holds the rosette so yeah it's looking really good and it's it's really good it's really high quality when that door closes ugh, sounds beautiful also i installed this cushion here so we could seal off uh from the outside and the inside and also when the door closes it's not slamming it's like a nice thump, like an old Porsche. So yeah, this hardware came out great. Almost forgot to mention the door sweep itself. You see the way that it just went up? There's no door sweep. Now there is a door sweep. 
It's perfect. Also, the paint job came out great. Forgot to mention that part. It is a couple of days later for when the door was painted because I like the door a couple of days old. So it's cured perfectly and, it, and it's pretty strong. Also, let me show you this. If you remember in the other videos, there was a seam here and now it's not. The door looks a lot more solid with that. There's not a black line going down. And I'll do an overlay of the old door that was here that I haven't done that treatment. I believe the line is on this slide and it's gone. Really happy about that. So that's it. So that door came out great. <laughs> so that door came out great. Really happy with the hardware, the door itself and how everything is closing. It isn't done yet. I have to put a deadbolt here, which is going to be a camera deadbolt. Let me show you. It's going to be this right here. It has a camera, a code, a doorbell. It also has a fingerprint reader and a regular key. So that's going to be going there, but that's going to be for a later video. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, we finally have safety in this apartment and we have safety in the basement because the door that was here, we moved it to the basement and we have a couple of projects on that door down there. So yeah. So if you learned something new, you can show me by giving me a like, any comments or questions, leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to see the deadbolt go in, more projects in the basement and more random things that I'm doing, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.